Hey guys, so um, this is my first time doing one of these, um, but I figured the medium made sense given what I have to confess. I'm not proud of it, uh, but I'm just going to come out and say it. This is the first time I've ever shot a vertical video, and, and I'm ashamed of it. I mean... It's, it's not my fault, it's, it's the Facebooks, right? The, the Instagrams and their reels and stories and nonsense. But I mean, video, video's always been landscape. I mean, look at, look at your TV, go to the cinema, it's always landscape, but right now, I'm sideways. I don't know what to do with this, I can't. But now, I can't, I can't engage in cinematic storytelling and in visual hierarchy and image design principles. I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay, so before we get started, let's just make sure everyone's here. So, uh, person who needs to learn the angles? Oh, no, I think that's me. Uh, person whose lighting makes them look like they're in witness protection? Are you recording this? Uh, person who forgot about this meeting and is dialing in from the street? Yeah, sorry guys, I'm here, I'm just on the street. Person who keeps talking even after you've told them they're on mute. Yeah, you, you're on mute. Uh, person who forgot their camera was on. Uh, person whose lighting doesn't match their background? What, me? No, this so is my office. Person with terrible internet connection? Yeah, I think you're frozen. Um, oh, person who's just discovered filters. Look, I'm a pirate! And person who can't work out how to turn their camera on. Great, that's everyone. So, uh, meeting over. Oh, there it is. Where is everyone? Yeah, sure, that sounds awesome. Uh, you're doing it wrong. Say that again, I can't hear you. You're still doing it wrong. Now, there's just some guy here. Do you know what else you might be doing wrong with your phone? Taking photos. So let me help you. That's right, I've tricked you into watching an ad. Sorry. And now I've got a dog, so you can't look away. Isn't that right, Barbara? They thought this was content, but now they're gonna have his money to buy toys. Let's look at how to take a terrible selfie. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just flip that camera around so we lose any of that nice negative space that gives us room to breathe and provides context for our image. That's better. Next, let's flip around to that tiny little selfie lens instead of the camera's actual dedicated lenses. So this is going to give us like a really rubbish file that can't handle sort of like any lighting conditions. And so this gives us the added bonus of being able to stare vacuously at ourselves instead of actually connecting with the lens. Now, you want to make sure to get away from any big, soft, natural window lights because that's just far too flattering. Uh, so instead, what you want to do is look for any overhead lights like this one. Oh, this is rubbish, isn't it? Now, it's also important that you pay absolutely no attention whatsoever to your backgrounds because that way we can end up with these really nice distracting elements. And finally, a good angle is your friend. So let's just learn to ignore them. Yeah, let's look right up those nostrils. And you're done. Although, come to think of it, probably would have made more sense to teach you how to take a good photo. So maybe just do all that, but the opposite. Hey guys, welcome to my unboxing channel where people tune in to watch me open stuff that's not even theirs. Let's see what we got today, hey? It's my new LED light. Oh my God, these are so good for video. Fun! Today I'm gonna to show you how to hack your photos to go from this to this. No, that's not a hack, that's just Photoshop. Yeah, but I've hacked it. He studied eight years for this. Oh, it's not wrong. I have two degrees, which I can use to hack my photos. How is that a hack? It's clearly not. I just wanted to show off, all right? Are you always naked in your photos? Not always. 